discovering Colorado, a new variety of chili pepper has been added to the gene ecology of the Pueblo chili. There's a bunch you can eat, but this one called the Pueblo primrose is bred for its beauty. We sent Bill Folsom to look into how you get this new variety of the iconic Pueblo chili. He's live in Pueblo for us, Bill. Hey Elizabeth, you're going to have to excuse me if I pop a few peas here, but we are talking about the Pueblo Primrose and it is the work of a Pueblo native who has a PhD in plant physiology and over years he has patiently been trying out plants to not only come up with this new variety, but a pedigree chart of Pueblo chilies. A greenhouse is the laboratory for research and development for Pueblo chilies. Experiments here create new chili varieties. It takes patience. I start, I've been in this job over 31 years and, and some of these varieties have almost taken that long for me to develop. Dr. Michael Bartolo is a Pueblo native with a PhD in plant physiology. This is something I enjoy so much. The Pueblo chili, I, I think I can never get bored of. Chatting about chilies? No problem. You have to pry a little to get him to talk about himself. So we asked a Pueblo chili grower. I call him usually yearly and ask him, hey, need advice on this or that, um, because he has to say a green thumb is an understatement. Grading chilies happens between fields in Pueblo and the Colorado State Arkansas Valley Research Center in Rocky Ford. Melons to tomatoes and chili peppers. If you've tasted something with a grown in Colorado label, you've enjoyed results from the research. The Pueblo chili, of course, has become a really a, a flag that the community of Pueblo can, can uh, carry. Multiple varieties, including the banner-carrying Pueblo chili, were created in southern Colorado. There's a family tree of chilies. The latest descendant just released is called the Pueblo primrose. It took 13 years to develop. You get the attributes that you like, and it's the color, the size, and the yield that you like, and then it's very stable year after year after year. Then you know you have a variety that's really uh, acceptable to the public. And you are looking at the edible portion of that pedigree chart out here. This is Millburger Farms, and they tell me there is all kinds of variety. There are all kinds of varieties of Pueblo chilies out here. As for that Pueblo primrose, you can get it at a couple local nurseries. It's been going quick. If you do, it does benefit a couple local charities. Watching after you, Pueblo, Bill Folsom, News 5.